It is 7.54. In the book of Kylie Conway's life, a 10-year chapter closes today, mm -hmm. and the page turns so that a new one can begin. It is time for all of us to say farewell to a friend and a member of the team here on Daybreak and News 8 that we have been relying on for some time. <laughs> Are you ready for this? It came fast. Yeah. Um, I'm ready, yes. It was a really thought-out decision with my husband and family and friends and it's time, you know, it's it's time in my career. Before we get full thoughts from you, we thought we'd try to make you cry. I mean, uh, we thought we'd like you to see <laughs> what some of your friends had to say about your time wow. here at New State. Let's listen. Kylie, I'm going to miss you so much, um, but I'm going to see you all the time. I know we already have um, a date planned, um, but you were one of the first people that I became friends with here at Wish TV, and uh, we're going to remain friends. I'm so proud of you for the moves that you're making, and I'll see you soon. I'm sitting at your desk because I'm creepy. Goodbye. Oh, hey, Kai. <laughs> uh, Kylie, it's Phil. Just in case you didn't, you didn't realize or, or hear me, for that matter. Uh, hey, all jokes aside, we're going to miss you here. Um, you know, I know that we worked, for the most part, different shifts, but the times that we did work together, we had such a great time. Thank you so much for the time that you spent here at Wish TV and your service to Indianapolis. I'm so happy for you and and the kids and I know that that morning shift is brutal on the body um, so you know hats off to you job well done I know it's cliche to say but this isn't a goodbye it's a we'll see you again soon love you hi Kylie it's your last day on the air I'll tell you what I don't know how you do it I don't know how you've gotten up so early in the morning come in smile do a professional job and look gorgeous how do you do that Anyway, now you can get a little sleep. I hope you enjoy it, your next chapter. And I know you love doggies because you have a burner doodle. So uh, Stewie says, have a nice time too, and good luck on your next venture. We'll miss you. Hey, Kylie Wiley, I hear that today is your last day at the station. Amazing. I've always had a deep respect for you. I am working out. I'm trying to stay in shape for full retirement, but uh, it's been a joy to work with you over the years here. Um, you have a great family, two boys, and whatever you're doing, I wish you the very best of your endeavors. You're a very talented person, and uh, may God bless your future endeavors. I gotta get going, Kylie. Kylie, it was fantastic working with you at Wish for the six years I was there. You were such a positive light and always so energetic in the morning. And anybody that works the morning shift knows you definitely need that. Excellent leadership as well. Wherever you go after this, you know that you will be successful. I know you will be successful and you'll be more well rested too. We'll talk soon. See you soon. Bye, girlfriend. Kylie, it's been awesome working with you on Daybreak the last 10 years, especially as your director. I wish you nothing but the best. We've had some good times, and we're going to miss you. Did you notice Randy's still using the free membership from the ball? <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> How did he shocker. get that card? <laughs> oh, well, that meant a lot. Um, gosh, this is a, it's a big goodbye for me, and I can't tell everybody how much I've appreciated the family and the partnerships and the friends that I've made since I've been here. And I know this is going to be, today's hard, today's a hard day. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow's going to get better and the next day is going to get better. And from all the people, um, I kept this under wraps for a long time because I don't deal with things like this very well. Um, I just like to rip the bandaid off. And so I posted yesterday and I got just an overwhelming amount of support, which meant the world. Um, forever friends, you know, mm -hmm. I forever friends from this place. And we'll see what's next. You know, I, Indianapolis is home, grew up in southern Indiana. I don't want to go anywhere, which is a big part of this decision because we know in news, in order to climb and chase those career goals, oftentimes that means you got to move. Mm -hmm. And that's really not something that we want to do. Yeah. We like our community and um, we like our, our neighborhood and our kids' schools and and my friends, you know, I want to keep them. So just just thanks for everyone and being supportive of this decision. I never once felt like anybody was fighting me on it. You know, it's just been a lot of encouragement. And um, you have way more confidence in me than I have in myself for this, <laughs> next, for this next place that I don't know I'm going to go yet. Um, but there are some things that I'm, I'm working on, and it's been exciting to explore even the possibility of 
using, as I told um, the IBJ, a different part of my brain matter, you know, <laughs> just focusing on different ways of thinking and how we can take our journalistic talents and integrities and um, skill sets and apply them in many different ways. It's been interesting to explore all of that. Well, and, and when we want to say hi, we really can just shout. Yeah, and she'll yeah. just be still down the street. Absolutely, sure. All right. we are downtowners, Indianapolis through and through. We believe in it. It is not that crime-ridden, people. It's great, um, but yeah, that's it's just a stone's throw from Wish TV. And now when we drive by, this was a this was a wake up wake up call the other day. We're driving by, and my oldest son pointed at the Wish TV ball outside. Yeah. He's like, Mom. You're not going to work there anymore. <laughs> Thanks, son. <laughs> Thanks, Joaquin. No, but it's it's been a beautiful. Gosh, started here 20 years ago as an intern. Wow. And kind of came full circle for the last 10 years. It's well, been you, a blessing. You've been a leader to everyone here. You're gonna. It's gonna be big shoes to mm -hmm. fill. We really will miss you so much, but. <sighs> As you said, you're not going to. We're going to keep on bothering you and say hi. Well, Wish is lucky to have all of you and very lucky to have you to come in. And um, you're going to do such a wonderful job. You've worked so hard oh, thank to, you. to get this role. And I'm, I'm very proud of you, too. You, she's such, She works so hard. She is. <laughs> this isn't about me. This is on your goodbye. So, but, but, uh, she's been saying, but you working hard. No. You either. Hey, well, can I give you this? <laughs> you mentioned you. Oh, <laughs> Where did this come from? I I gave them this is for me. It's oh, you. Oh, thank you. Really good coffee that smells very good and. And I, I have no out. idea if this yes. is any good or not, but I'm not drinking it. So there you go. It looks delicious. <laughs> Hazelnut's one of my favorites. Well, there you go. <laughs> oh, and we also have our whole crew here behind the cameras. Yes. All of us wanted to give you a good boy mm -hmm. uh, letter that you can read later on. Thank you. Well, thanks. I think that is plenty of time for my goodbye. Do you want to <laughs> toss it to break one more time? Sure. Thanks for tuning in, Indianapolis. See you later. <laughs>